you're gonna be hot, you're gonna be tired, you're gonna be miserable, wishing you didn't come here. My job is to give you the tools and teach you that you have the willpower to survive this. We train the best for the worst, and that's it. So we are out here today starting off the field phase of training for Sear West, where the students are going to learn how to survive and evade through uh, this arid high desert terrain. The purpose of this training, when you boil it down, is we're teaching our students to survive and return with honor from any isolating incident. It's teaching the basics, not just on hiding, but navigation, uh, how to procure water, how to procure food. Uh, it tastes so good, you should try it. doesn't. So we train in this area for one reason, because it's very similar to a lot of the areas that we are deploying to. It's also one of the hardest environments that you can live in. So if you can survive here, you can survive almost anywhere. But we can carry it back with us. We'll wash it off when we get down there and we'll eat it. There's plenty of physical barriers, obviously, when you're in a survival situation. But the hardest ones are, they're mental. You have to have the will to survive. If you're trained to do this, it's not that hard. But going through the training to learn it, developing that, that grit, that inner strength, to want to get through it, that's the hard part. You know, there's a, there's a chance that this could happen. And you know, I don't want it to happen. I don't think anybody I know wants it to happen, but it's a possibility that can happen. And there's no other better way to do it. All right, listen up. These, these men and women, when they join the service, they deployed and go down range. Uh, they can be put behind enemy lines in harm's way. And what we aim to do is teach them everything we can on survival skills. So if they do become isolated or captured, they can find a way to return with honor. <laughs>